Good day. Today is Friday, July 22nd. This is Nancy Garnan with 3MAX Alliance, and I am covering the new listings that were bank-owned or foreclosures that happened on the market this week. Now, according to my report, they show that there's eight. Well, there's actually seven, and one of them is very, very, very wrong. And if you look at the map and you watched my video yesterday, you should be able to figure it out. Well, I would... If I was the listing agent, I'd be very embarrassed to have this happen because it is so not right. Anyway, we have them spread out. There's one up in Estes Park. There's one a couple down in Loveland and some in Fort Collins. And so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to move this up and leave my phone number there. And, and the only thing I don't like about this is my name doesn't here show you, but you get to see my lovely picture and um, appreciate you watching this and then share it with other people you know. The first bank owned property that was put on the market this week is in Loveland. It's at 49.9. It says bring your tool belt and gain some sweat equity and it looks like there's a lot of sweat equity to happen here. Uh, potentially hardwood floors or maybe there are hardwood floors. Detached garage and they're saying you know terms as is or cash or FHA 203k um, 203Ks are not the least expensive type of financing to go, and there's there's triggers on it how quickly how the work has to be done. So if you can do a different type of financing and then refinance, that might be a better option. But you need to take a look at each and every one of your steps. This is a unique home in Laporte in need of a little work. Um, wait a minute, I want to go back and try to figure this out. I thought that was made out of rocks first. Um, but it's kind of funky here. It looks like it's more just a flat stone if it's that. You can see the carpets are dirty. Um, interestingly enough, there's a refrigerator in the range in the kitchen. No dishwasher, but that's in no microwave. So it's pretty good to have two out of four of appliances. Uh, and lot, eh, you know, it's not as bad as some that we've seen lately. And that one is in County Road 43G. It's on 0.28 of an acre in Laporte. I thought it might be on a larger thing. It just kind of had that appearance. This one on Elizabeth has been on the market for three days. It's 125. It's in a uh, well-maintained area. And let's see what they give us for pictures. Uh, since we have so few, I'm going to go ahead and blow it up. It looks like the kitchen's really in decent shape. And kitchens seem to get fairly abused. Looks like the towel rod got pulled off. And not, was that a broken window or, yeah, that looks like, or a branch. I think it's a broken window. I can't really tell. And that's it on that one. And actually, this is interesting. If you look over here, it says Metro. That means it was listed by an agent out of the Denver market. So, or they, not even that. They put it into the Denver MLS system, and it's covering our area. Our... Next one is on Laporte Avenue in Fort Collins at 159. It's a three bedroom, again, once again, a one bath home. This one's a little bit larger lot, but not much. It's a Bank of America, so they want you to use a Bank of America lender first. And I had one Bank of America lender that couldn't pull it off, and so we had to switch at the last minute to another lender. Let me know if you want to know who that is, and that'll be just awesome. Chickadee Street in Loveland is. Um, a great open ranch. They only have six pictures. And what I'm kind of looking for is home path because as an investor, and today's Investor Weekly too, as an investor you can buy a rental property and do a 3.5% down with the home path financing. So kind of what, that was an interesting education for me. This one on Capstone is at 257.5. It's a three bedroom, three bath. It's in Sunstone Village. It, um, it is home path, and that would be a great one for you as an investor to do, or home or owner occupied. And here's the one up in Estes Park on Blue Spruce. It's a quiet hillside location. Looks like it has a hot tub sitting out there. Not sure that the hot tub works or not, but who knows. Nice open floor plan. Let's see if they give us a picture of the kitchen. And it seems like I've seen this one before, so maybe they've just reactivated the listing to see what we can do here. And then I'm going to stay on this last one for a second because I know it is not a uh, foreclosure property. And this is what the agent's done. You have a $10 million home in northern Colorado, and they say down here that it is 
owner occupied, but it's lender owned REO, and it is not. Um, I happen to be talking to someone that's been in that house before, so kind of fun to know a little bit more. So we won't know a bit. We won't spend any time on that because it's not true. So when I guess the point of that is don't believe everything that you see in Iris uh, or on the marketing systems because real estate agents are human too and they make mistakes just like anybody else does. So we have to just double check on it. So let's go to Larimer.org. This is our county website for Larimer County and we're going to start learning how to research investment properties. And I'm going to be starting to do a series of second videos just for buyers and I'll be eventually posting it on my website as videos for buyers so you can learn how to research things. Right now I've posted a link that just at salesrealestate.tv for television and where I'm posting videos of my listing. So more and more I'm getting to be a video queen. I'm loving every minute of it and I hope you are too. Feel, so feel free to share this. So here is the property. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Lemmer County, we're looking at this property on East 7th, and I'm going to move this up a little bit because I want to spread this out, uh, if I can get there to do this, so that you can see how it looks and some of the tools that I want you to use while we're doing research. So we have the owner of the property is Blackstar REO. They got it under a special warranty deed and they purchased it for 36 Oh wow, Just in, and now they're trying to sell it for 49 That's not much of a difference. I wonder why they're doing that. Maybe they're just deciding, let's see, did they do any fix-up work? Not really, and I was, maybe that was part of the foreclosure. Who knows? Um, because it doesn't go any further back than that. It's like, the, unless what they did, okay, here it goes. Fannie Mae to Blackstone Financial, Inc. was a grantor and then they probably transferred it to another party to put it into the LLC. So they put it into Blackstar, then REO, so kind of different states, but anyway, that's what it is. So here's something kind of fun, is that you can look at, oh, I was going to show you something else first. Oh, well, since we're here on the mapping, let's do that. This shows you the lay of the land, and that's kind of nice to see, and it's also very nice to see the imagery of what it really looks like. So a couple of tools you can use are fun to use. And so this shows you that it's actually a double lot. Now you might have picked that up when you looked at it, but not necessarily. So it's just kind of helpful to see. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can, and this site is really pretty good. Lamar County does an excellent job. You see here's 7th Street, here's Monroe. If you go to the north, you'll see the police department up there. Uh, 7th Street is kind of a road that goes east and west, and you can see here it becomes divided on the other side of Boise. Boise up north is where the hospital is. You can erase that panel. You can zoom back in. You can move it around. And it's, um, I don't know, just, that's just one of the many tools. Oh, this went way too far in. All right, so we'll stop there then. So here, let's go back to this. It shows that it's 63, 53 square feet, and that's what the agent has down here. That's always nice to see. Uh, they have an actual value of 118.7. So the county is either way wrong, or that's what the value should be, and there's plenty of room to build up equity here, depending on what you do. There's property taxes over here, and it shows that the owner name was Federal Mortgage, National Mortgage Association. Taxes, balance, there's money due from last year, because remember, you're paying last year's taxes this year, and so who's ever got it titled, either the taxes didn't get paid, the title company didn't do it right, or, some, or it's been an ownership long enough that the new owner should have paid taxes and they didn't. This gives you the breakout of the taxes. This is kind of interesting because it tells you where the money from your taxes goes. So let's go back to property information because that's where the links are and go back to nearby property sales. So there's a whole bunch in the neighborhood or we can only return those in the subdivision. And this gives you your whole list of disclosures. And this gives you information as to the neighbors. And we're at 1324 East 7th is what we're looking for. But, um, and it, but it shows you the surrounding area, the ranches, the square footage size, the current values. And so 
gives you a fit more, one more tool to give you fiddling for the neighborhood. That's all I'm going to cover today. That one was at Lammer.org. Next week we'll cover something new. It could be the uh, cap rate on an investment. It could be anything. So stay tuned, watch, share the information. This is Nancy Garnan with Remax Alliance in Northern Colorado. And I strongly believe that it is an investor market. Thank you.